Hey everybody, you are watching Channel Android from ChannelAndroid.com and today I wanted to take a brief moment to do a video review of Riptide GP. Now this is a game that is you can see it in the NVIDIA Tegra Zone if you have that application on your tablet. Uh, and this is a game that was de designed specifically with uh, Tegra in mind. If you will go back to the main menu here, you'll see that it, the game does have open faint integration where you can go in and you have various, you, know, you can see your leaderboards, achievements, uh, games and friends, things of that sort. If you're familiar with open faint, then you kind of have an idea of what's going on here. It's nothing out of the ordinary. You have a few different race modes. You have race, hot lap, championship, and then you have a couple other tabs for options and community is just some advertising for the developers of Riptide GP Vector Unit that they put up here. So if you're really a fan, you can go and see what else they've got going on. So to kind of give you an idea of what this game looks like, which I think is probably the most important part when you're playing a game like this. We're gonna run a race. Now you see you have three different difficulty levels. We're gonna do an easy level. And we can take a look through here and see there are several tracks to choose from. When this starts off, you'll only have one track that's actually open. And then you can see here the medals it shows the medals that I've won as I've made it through some of these tracks. And every time you make it through one of them, you will unlock the next one in line. And so, uh, what is that? Is that seven or eight different tracks? And then starts over with similar naming and they all have R at the end of them and I really don't know what the R stands for because I haven't made it that far and honestly I am a casual gamer for the most part when it comes to tablets and phones so I pick this up when the mood strikes me and uh, well we're gonna play a game I haven't sat down and dedicated myself to trying to make it through the entire game once you've selected your track, you'll see that you have different jet skis that you can choose from. And we have several different ones. And you'll see that each of them will show you the acceleration, top speed, and handling. And just like with the tracks, they will unlock as you progress. So we're going to go with the Stingray. Notice here you have the position up top, the time lap your name that you use on open faint and then some other time that was underneath uh, on the right hand side you have a oh, this is not the easiest thing to do with a camera in the way on the right hand side you have what is basically a boost and that boost will charge whenever you do tricks and that was a good chance for me to do a trick so you'll I don't know if you can really see in the video we'll try and show it again my charge is now full because I did some tricks basically as you're going when you do the tricks you have different swipe functions in the bottom right hand corners of the game which you'll do with your thumbs and once you're ready to use the boost you just tap over in that area and it'll activate. The game automatically accelerates for you so that's not something you really have to worry about. It's pretty much just drive, keep your thumbs down low for when you want to try and do some tricks to fill up your boost and boost when you need it. Now I personally think the graphics on this game are pretty phenomenal. You can really pull me in personally 
with really good water graphics and they really they really brought it to the table here with their water graphics as far as the controls go as you can see obviously it uses the um, the sensors in the tablet to sense where you're tilting and leaning to handle the controlling and um, that is not the best situation in my opinion uh, and that's what happens when you don't land it so sets you back a little bit um, as far as comparing this to other games that use a similar type of <clears throat> steering mechanic other racing games uh, it's it's right in line with those sometimes it's a little bit more difficult to control if you have a camera in front of you it definitely is but uh, even if you don't have a camera because sometimes you're hitting waves and you're catching air and you need to make adjustments because you're airborne it, it might make sense but it can be difficult at times but as far as comparing it to other tracks or other games rather it's really not that different it's not bad at all um, so this game is in the market you can go and get it for six ninety nine as I record this and uh, it's really kind of a fun game if you're into racing something a little more casual uh, it can be difficult at times and uh, looks really nice so um, I think in my opinion this is the probably the best looking game that you can get out there on Android tablets right now so head on over to the market and check it out and stay tuned to our YouTube channel for future videos and uh, head on over to channelandroid.com for more game reviews, app reviews, news and opinion pieces